Hey guys, so this is a quick, quick video for me to talk about motivation. Like a lot of you guys have been asking me what keeps me going, what pushes me to keep the ball rolling for the past two years that I've been doing this thing called a lifestyle, if you call it. It's first, like the first thing that I would like to highlight is that when you're starting your journey, you need to make sure your why is strong enough. Guys, I'm not sure if I'm saying it loud enough, but your why need to be strong enough. Your why need to be able to keep you accountable. Like your why should connect with you. You should not just pick some random reason out there. Your why should be something personal something you value, something that is so much attached in the way that you will not easily compromise. The why should be strong enough in the sense that it should be able to last you for long terms because majority define their why based on losing weight. You know, I'm starting this year because I want to lose 5 kg. I'm starting this year because I want to lose 10 kg. And then you ask this person, after losing those kgs, then what? Do you stop? If the answer is yes, why are you starting this journey anyway? Because you're going to stop, you're going to go back to your old lifestyle, and then you're going to go back to where you started, or even worse. So take this as a lifestyle because if you put time limit, um, you're going to stop in the middle. You know, you're going to stop somehow, you're going to stop. Uh, once you have your why clearly defined, then you start implementation. Now, in the middle of implementation, this is like we are human beings, you know, some stuff happens. So, in the middle of the year, some issues will be made. It's up to you to also be smart. For now, you can tap off those situations, circumstances, habits, hobbies, to also uh, act as a reminder uh, to ring the bell in your mind, to remind you or to take you back to your biggest why. So, this is what I'm trying to say. Let's say you're a person that enjoy going to the beach. Not only going to the beach, but you enjoy looking great in the beach. If you're a lady, you enjoy you know, putting your know, two pieces, you know, outfit, swimsuit, you know, looking that sexy. If you're a guy, the same. You enjoy, like, you know, showing off your chest, your six pack, and whatever. You understand, you get the point. You know what I'm trying to talk about here. Yeah. So if you're that kind of a person, use that as a motivation. That act as small motivation to remind you to the big one. So use them. They might not be the best one, yes, the best one is the big one, but since you're a human being and there are so many things that may get you out of the way, use those small other motivation to take you back to the big one. So Remind yourself, I want to go to the beach, I want to put on my two pieces and look great. In order for me to look great, I need to work out, I need to eat clean, I need to eat less junky and more clean food, I need to keep active. Whatever way you decide to keep active, that's up to you, but just keep active. So if looking good, if looking sexy, if looking great at the beach is a motivation, use it. If you train to get laid, did I just say late? Well, yeah. If you train to get laid, there's nothing bad about it. You know, if you enjoy that and it's something that you want to keep on enjoying, if it keeps you moving, if it pushes you to wake up in the morning if you're a morning person or to wake out in the evening if you're an evening person, if it pushes you to choose a head food instead of a junk food, Use it. If you're a parent, you're a father, you're a mother, you have kids, you have a husband, you have a wife, you also have a mother, you have your sister, brothers, and other relatives. You love those people. You want to be there for those people. You want to show and receive love from those people. 
every parent like to see the kids, the children growing up. You are a parent and you want to enjoy seeing the kids growing up while you are at your best. Because seeing them growing up while you are sick in the bed, my dear, it's not a good thing. So if you want to be at your best while seeing your kids growing up, playing with them, enjoying their company, you know, use that as a motivation. I think for me, for parents, this is something that connects with you in a way that no one can even explain. It's something that you will not compromise. It's something that you will not, you know, discuss with yourself because it's something that every parent admire. So if you like your children that much, if you want to be there for them, and you know being there for them require you to also be physically, mentally, psychologically okay, work on it by starting to live a healthy lifestyle and every time you feel like you want to give up just remind yourself how precious your kids are and how beautiful you want to keep on watching them growing up so use that as a motivation to push on to keep that ball rolling if you aspire to live your 70s your 60s your 80s while having your energy, while being able to run here and there and play with your grandchildren. Start living a health lifestyle now. Because it will help you. Every time you remember that you want to enjoy those moments with your grandchildren in the future, then let that motivate you to wake up, let that motivate you to eat clean, let that motivate you to keep active. Because your choices now determine how your life will be at your old age. So start today. Let's say you're a person like me. You enjoy feeling great, feeling good in your own skin. And you know, you enjoy the fact that you're able to move around, to run, to jump here and there, to climb. You know, there are some things that I observe sometimes even when I'm with my friends. We might be working on the street and then, you know, you need to jump from this side to the other. And I don't have to even ask myself if I'm capable to do that because I know my body is capable. But I would see some of my friends who would struggle or would take some step back to start thinking if they're able or not. So if you are that person who just want to feel that energy, you know, you enjoy feeling that energy, feeling strong, you enjoy being able to do some things that others struggle to do. I think for me that asks as a great motivation to keep me going. Because knowing that by this life I'll be able to do more, it actually gives me that energy to keep on doing it. The fact that I won't have to start thinking how this is going to fit here, how this is going to fit on this side, it acts a lot as a motivation because I think I can fit in all kinds of outfits and that for me is something that I will keep on doing what I'm doing to keep it. Um, if you are this religious person, you are a religious person and you want to find the motivation out of your spiritual part, just imagine yourself in this situation. Imagine how God created you. Imagine how beautiful and wonderful God created you. And you simply want to honor God for His greatest creation. And what you need to do is to wake up in the morning, go smash that workout, choose clean food over the junky food, being responsible and being, you know, conscious of the choices you make when it comes to your food as a way of honoring God's creation, as a way of appreciating how wonderful God created you, you know. So you can use that if you think of the other reasons I've just mentioned are too much of the world's best reasons and you want something more spiritual. 
to speak of all his greatest creation and use this lifestyle as a way of honoring God and honoring your body because it actually does a lot for you. Mm. God, your body does a lot for you. Honor it by giving it good energy. Just honor it by giving good energy. It's like it's giving you a lot of good stuff, but why are you feeling it back? Just think of that. God did not create you to be an ornament. Our body was not made to be an ornament at all. Our body was created to be like the perfect machine that ever existed. But we used just a little bit of our ability. Train your body, keep your body active, feed your body good food, give it good energy, and see the amazing stuff your body is capable of doing. Trust me, your body is capable of doing things that are beyond your imagination. The thing that you only see and think they're just, you know, special talents, your body can do them. What you need to do is to train them. Train them and then do it. Trust me. So, I've spoken a lot. That is all about motivation. Remember, your why should be strong enough. And remember to be smart on how to tap into these other small motivations to also keep you moving and to remind you to the biggest why. Well, I think that's it for today. I hope this video helps. But before we switch off the camera, let's appreciate my hairstyle and my girl Carol for putting this hair together. Oh my god, I love my joy. And I just love the simplicity and you know, quality. Yeah. And you see closer, 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 closer.